Traditionally, Halloween was all about dressing up in the scariest and most creative costumes imaginable. Today, costumes are a little bit less on the scary and more on the creativity. Now costumes represent ideas, popular figures, sex, current events, and the traditional scary figures. You may be on the edge trying to decide what's the best idea for a costume, so here are a select few costumes that will make you the center of attention. Mad Max. If you want Senpai to notice you, then the apocalyptic theme from the movie is the way to go for your costume party this year. You don't have to buy an expensive setup at all, as you will only need inexpensive beige garments. Roll them in some dirt, put them on, and voila, you've got the clothing part down. You'll only need black and white face paint for the mask. Susan or Stella from Orange is the New Black. The hit Netflix series Orange is the New Black has two of the most distinct female actors in Hollywood, Uza Aduba and Ruby Rose, known as Susan, or Crazy Eyes, and Stella, respectively. You'll be the life of the party if you enter with that signature low haircut of Stella or the wild hairdo of Susan. You don't even have to look much like them, as the orange or beige jumpsuits will do just fine. Birth control. Now, to be fair, even though birth control involves both sexes, it will come off more powerfully if a woman does it. Birth control is one of the hottest topics of the year, so coming in as a pack of pills or just one pill will definitely make you the talk of the party. Anachronistic holiday character. Now you know what will have the whole party busting a gut when you step in? Dressing up as Santa Claus with a gift bag over your back. Acting the part by doing the jolly old laugh and having people sit in your lap will make you the life of the party. Other ideas are a leprechaun, baby new year, the Easter bunny, even a woman in a bikini for summer. Mexican Donald Trump. Love him or hate him, you have to admit there's been no other figure in the presidential race more polarizing and electrifying than the Trump. Having the wild blonde hair and the blue suit could suffice, but why stop there when you could put on the stereotypical Mexican mustache? You could also top it off by wearing a poncho, but ensure that the suit and tie can be seen. The irony would be appreciated by most, except Donald Trump supporters, of course. A Muslim Ben Carson would be a nice touch, too. Anti-Pope Pope Francis is probably the most popular pope since Pope John Paul II. He has a charisma and charm that has wooed the entire world, even non-believers. However, some people see him as the Antichrist, so why not have the Anti-Pope instead? He could wear a black and red garb instead of the iconic white and gold and have the hat to match. Extra touches such as pentagrams and the Devil's Fork may be used at your own discretion, but be warned, it will be offensive to some, so just hope that the party only has Protestants and the religiously indifferent.